All right, is anyone else nervous out here yeah, on the yeah. Nine News backyard? My yeah, <laughs> science guy, Steve Spangler oh, in the house you? with fire. Of it's course. so good to see. You. Look at you, of course. I can, I can do things with milk and food coloring. It's just not as fun. Okay. So uh, <laughs> it happens. Well, it's, it's pretty fun sometimes. It, it is. It is fun. Uh, there is a, a a grain elevator that I guess got this grant in Kersey that we reported earlier in the week. It just reminded me of grain elevators and some of the lessons we used to teach kids. Down in Littleton years ago, many, many years ago, there was the rough and ready flour mill. It would catch on fire quite often right. because the flour would catch on fire. In right. the right. And you go, well, how, why would flour catch on fire? This is a great demonstration of how that works. So glasses on, look at this. Uh, this is not flour. This is a, a material called lycopodium. And lycopodium, it's similar to, you know, in the trees when the, when the don't run away, when, <laughs> when, the, when, the, when, the, when the pollen is there. Right, look here. Right. Uh, you can kind of see what it looks like in the air right there. Right. By itself, it won't catch on fire, but when those particles are surrounded by <laughs> oxygen, they will. Oh. So, for example, if I put the torch down in here, it doesn't catch on fire. Special effects artists can use it this way. But as soon as you distribute it like this, so watch, if you just have a little bit of fuel, watch. Whoa! Oh. See, you get a little bit more. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that good? Uh, years ago on the Ellen Show, they wanted big balls of fire, but I couldn't, you can't have like a flammable substance. Well, this lycopodium like isn't considered flammable unless it's in the air. Fire needs three things. It needs oxygen, it needs heat, and it needs fuel. And you. Remove one of the, and me. Yeah, right. So look at what I created. This, this one's for you. This okay. is little gun is for you. Oh, no. so, Watch oh this. God. So you just put the lycopodium down right. into here like this. That's good. Now wait, just, okay. just so good. Now I'll squeeze it, and then you just you're gonna blow on the okay. end. Ready? Oh, that oh, was hello. beautiful. That's hello. nice. Oh. nice. There you go. Here, I'll fire you up again. Not this, me. this one's not yours, it. Ed. All right, so hang on here like this. So right. just hang on here. You can play. So okay. just oh. just squeeze and, do, and you, you get like it. Wait just a second. You get to okay. get the trigger. Yeah. It actually feels pretty yeah. nice on a chilly morning. Oh, wow. yeah, see, that was yeah. beautiful. Here, knock one of those bad boys out again. That was so cool. Anyway, I, like I just that. I know. Well, here, fire it up again there. All right. All right? So I, I got it for you to to be able to do. But the whole idea is if we're teaching kids about those three things that you need, if you just squeeze and hold it there. Like that, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> you gotta settle warm. down. Okay, yeah, there you go. Just now squeeze. squeeze first. There you go. Now blow. Oh. Do you want to squeeze? Nope, like a dragon. Right here. Yeah, just squeeze. squeeze. Just squeeze. Here you go. And. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that was beautiful. Yeah. Wow, you guys are doing great. I know, you have to. Have to. Uh, so, anyway, I was thinking about, so can I just say on this uh, on this Memorial Day weekend, the thing that also gets us uh, are people that take the fuel and squirt it directly into the oh, yeah. barbecue. Wow. You can see how this flame comes back yes. to the very tip yeah. again. We can do this because that's not going to catch on fire back in here. But, of course, with the other fuel, it will. So, anyway, thinking about all of that and... Here you go. A little yes. uh, nine news yes. fireball. What a nice way to. <laughs> hey, whenever you guys come on set, if you just ask me to come in, I'll just give you a ball of fire, and then you Ooh. walk in and go, "Hi, like Ed Dane here, and like I'm here that. for your weather." I like, I like that. that. Oh, yeah. I like that. How would right that react to Corey's hairspray this well, morning? Well, basically, I'd have to go to the principal's <laughs> office yet again here at Nine News. Not that I have You're gone, a regular. Not that I have gone down in flames before <laughs> doing a forecast. We <laughs> always do. Fun. Yeah. Hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. It'll be kind of fun. Thank you. Are wonderful. Unscathed, both of you. You're walking on glass next month. Definitely. Everybody's favorite <laughs> uncle yeah. right here, yeah. Steve Spangler. So great.